What's up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're talking about three ways to not suck at losing weight. So let's get right to it. Number one, program hopping. Stop program hopping. Okay? So many times you're not given one program long enough to actually see any progress with. I'll see this a lot. People, um, I'll have a client who's doing uh, keto, eating keto, and, they're, and then after two days of doing keto, they're like, oh, Bob's doing intermittent fasting. Let's go do that. Or then after that, they're like, oh, wait, but Jill is taking these fat burners. But oh, Jane is over here, is doing uh, HIIT cardio. Oh, and they, and they just keep bouncing from uh, program to program or coach to coach or whatever. Guys, listen, you gotta give it long enough to do anything, okay? So that's number one, stop program hopping. Stick to one thing and give it enough time and patience. The second thing, understand and trust the process. Because what too many people do wrong is they think their results are gonna come lickety split, super fast, super easy. One, they're not. Two, if they were, they wouldn't be sustainable. I'll see people that will have a lot of weight to lose and they may lose multiple, multiple, you know, five to 10 pounds in like seven or eight days and they expect that to keep going. You've got to understand and then trust the process. You know, it didn't, you didn't get like this overnight where you're unhappy with. You didn't get overweight overnight. You didn't get fat overnight. You didn't get out of shape overnight. It took time, effort, and consistency to get out of shape. So understand the process that it's gonna take just that long, if not longer, to get back in shape, but then don't just understand it, but you have to trust it. You have to trust that what you're doing is working, and believe what you're doing is working, otherwise you're not gonna give it your all, okay? And then number three, this is my favorite, when to be emotional and when to not be emotional, okay? So the thing is, too many people put those in the wrong spots. They're emotional when they shouldn't be, and they're emotional, or they're not emotional when they should be. So when to be emotional. You wanna be emotional about what it is you want in your goal. Understand what you want, why you want it, and be emotionally tied to it. Say, you know, I wanna lose weight, I wanna be around for my grandkids, I wanna be able to play with my kids, I wanna be able to keep up with them in kickball, that kind of thing. You wanna be emotionally tied to your goal. What you don't wanna be emotional with is your execution. Whether you feel like it or not, show up. Whether you feel like working out, show up. Whether you, um, there's a car, and I've got like ADHD. Um, and whether you're, you know, don't feel like eating right that day, eat right anyway. You know, you're not, most people I know aren't emotional about their jobs, but they know if they don't show up to work, they don't eat. So they just show up anyway, regardless of the emotion. So, so be emotional about the goal, but do not be emotional about the execution. Hope this helps. Comment below. Be sure to subscribe. Talk to you soon.